here's some more Dr. Disrespect stuff. Let's check it out. Let's check out this update from Geeks and Gamers on Dr. Disrespect. I wonder what's happened. Apparently something backfired. Shouts to Geeks and Gamers. The Dr. Disrespect story continues to be a very, very confusing story, to say the least. And now we have this story from that park place. Oh, Developer Midnight Society no lays off 50% of its staff less than three months after severing ties with Dr. Disrespect. Video game developer Midnight Society, which is developing Dead Drop, reportedly laid off nearly half of its staff less than three <laughs> months after severing ties with streamer and personality Dr. Disrespect, a.k.a. Guy Beam. Midnight more. Society announced it was severing ties with Beam at the end of June, the company wrote on X, on Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, a.k.a. Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. Okay, let's stop right there. Now, I've given my opinions on the whole Dr. Disrespect story, and the only thing that I've had a real problem with was his tweet, which he has since deleted, and he has since said that he was basically using that as a way to bait people. I know what he's saying. I just have a hard time buying it. None of that makes sense to me. It sounds wild as hell, fam. That's why I'm not backing him. All I'm saying is, I don't know, right? And then we don't have all the information, right? So for now, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to receive the information. I'm not defending. I'm just saying a lot of things seem suspect. And I do think that Switch deserves some, uh, some criticism as well. To, to why you would bait people into thinking that you are the worst thing you can be, essentially. Yeah. I don't understand that. Maybe, Maybe he's playing 4D chess that I don't get, but whatever. Forget all of that for a minute, though. I want to talk about what we're seeing right here, right now from Midnight Society. So let's take this for what we know. That all of this happened all of these years ago on Twitch. And after that happened, and after he was examples. fully investigated, and Twitch still paid him off... They, then he creates this company, Midnight Society, or maybe Midnight Society was a thing back then. I don't know. Maybe they took it to the next level. I don't know the ins and outs. Don't follow all the stuff with him. But regardless, whatever happened, happened years and years ago for Twitch. Mm. And now because some random person on Twitter makes a comment, Cody Connors, suddenly now Midnight Society is going, oh, this, we have to look into this. Well, it had been looked into by Twitch, and Twitch said nothing. In fact, they paid out his contract. Right. So then you what guys cut ties with him based off of whatever it is this was, but according to Doc, and I'm not going to say according to Twitch, but by default, I guess, Twitch has never provided anything. Twitch has never provided anything. So by that standard... There's nothing you can hold him accountable for. And Doc is denying that anything happened. So why did you fire the guy? He's the founder of the company. This makes mm. no sense. Now, I know Doc did say that like it was a mutual decision. I think that's bullshit. I think they want. Yeah, that, that don't sound right at all. It does sound. It does sound extremely suspect. It sounds mad suspect. It's just a lot about this don't really sound right at all. That's why I'm just waiting for the information. Wanted to get rid of him based on this, based on whatever. I don't know. But the point being is that when you get rid of Dr. Disrespect from a Dr. Disrespect founded company, guess what's going to happen next? You're going to lose your entire company. So we get here. In order to maintain our prim principles and standards as a studio you know, and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. It then added, while these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. Well, half of them don't have a job now because of this decision. Now, Damn. again, I can I can see. Yeah, that does like suck. <laughs> I got to call this biggest bit. That is, that's messed up, right? And it's extremely unfortunate. I don't know how that company keeps going without the, the disrespect, to be honest. I sit here and tell you, like, personally, I am not comfortable with Doc and his whole, like, oh, I was just trolling. That's why I said that I did this. I think that's just 
absolute just insanity to buy into that. And I know I'm going to get crushed in the comments by the doc fans, boys, bring it on. It's fine. Um, but for getting my opinion on that, Mm -hmm. I want to know why did the company make this decision? Because what did they see? that they're not releasing to the public in order to make this decision. If there's something that you guys saw that led you to make this decision, then shouldn't you release that to the public so that the public can see whatever it is it was? And if you don't have anything to show the public, so you just make... I think when allegations or anything that's being claimed, I think that it should be proven when the claim is being made or whatever a knee-jerk reaction based off of some weirdo from Twitter or from Twitch, then what are we doing here? You you got rid of the guy that founded the company and now you've lost half Mm. your staff. I'm just asking questions right now because we don't have any... Thing. We have nothing. Wow. We have no no Twitch whisper messages. We don't have any uh we don't have any on the record comments from any alleged victims. It's we nothing. don't have anything. It's like literally nothing. I didn't even realize that my camera was all in front of his face. My bad. My bad. I would have moved it earlier. Now it's at the end, so it's too late now. But fam, everything he's saying is correct. And they didn't, they didn't really have anything. We don't have nothing, right? That's why I'm not so quick to just jump on and accuse anybody or anything. We have former Twitch employees running their mouths. We have esports reporters that are creeps in their own right running their mouths about Doc. What do we have other than what Doc has said, which I have I've stated where I stand on that? What else do we have? We don't have anything. This is the weirdest fucking story of all time. It really is. Beam responded to the statement on uh, writing on X. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the uh, effing BS. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the whole statement that he ultimately got rid of. Uh, so he deleted that whole thing. And that's that's where my issue, that's my only issue Yikes. was that comment and that tweet that he made right there. Um, so I don't know, man. This story is just a wild... Yeah, it's a wild-ass story. I ain't going for it. It is crazy. As well. Guys, make sure y'all go and check out Geeks and Gamers, by the way. I really enjoy their content. Um, But yeah, it is a wild-ass story. It sounds wild, bro. That's why I just keep saying this. I want to wait for the information. The story of Gotta all wait. time. Wow. Beam apologized again to my team, community, industry friends that have supported me. I apologize. I wish you could have said this sooner. You guys always showed me and my family love and support through all these years. We love you guys, and we can't imagine uh, like you can't imagine. I have the best effing community and circle. If uh, any of this has made you feel uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but you know you have... Uh, but you know you have always been greatly appreciated. Uh, but trust me when I say to all my haters that live and breathe on social media with zero real life experience, I don't give an F about you. And that was all part of that statement that he made. Um, so it really just comes back to why did you fire Doc? Why did you get rid of the Because they didn't want to get canceled or... They just, people nowadays, I'm telling you, they don't want to do the research or actually do investigation or look for what's the truth, right? They were more concerned about their pockets. So it was quick to just get them up out of here. I still want more information. I think it's up to the accuser to provide it though, but I'm not defending anybody. I just, I don't know. That's all I'm saying. The founder of your company Did you have something? Have you seen something? Have you spoken to someone? But even if you did, there's still no legal action being taken. So why did you get rid of the founder of the company? This doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense to me. None of it. So while I can sit there and tell you I'm not really thrilled with Doc's tweet and what he said, and I'm not comfortable with his response of it, I can also say, but from a company standpoint, why did you guys do this? Why Mm. did you guys make the decision to get rid of the person that founded the company and now you've lost 50% of your staff, but there's no criminal action. There's no police report. Right. Why? If it's that real, 
Why weren't police called? Reports. There's no documentation of just, the, the whisper messages. So many what things did you fun. see that led you to this decision? Maybe we'll never find out. The doctor disrespect drama continues, and I don't know if we're ever going to fully find out what happened. What we do know is Doc has a huge fan base, and he's going to have a big following wherever he goes. And uh, and that's perfectly fine, man. Um, I have no problem with the man having a following and having people that want to watch him. I think that there's a lot of people in this situation that are acting very, very shady. I'm not sure if there's anybody that's acting truly legit right now. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. We will talk to you. Yeah, go and check them out, man. I highly recommend Geeks and Gamers. Overall, with Dr. Disrespect, I am still waiting for more information. It just seems so wild, bro. So wild for the way that it happened. But I don't know. I don't know if... Uh, Dr. Disrespect is doing some kind of Jedi mind trick. <laughs> I don't know if he got like a genius chess move plan, but we'll see. Tom will tell. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Share the video as well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think that's that's it for today. Yeah, so that's all we want to do. We did Dr. Disrespect. Destiny, Abin, Preach. Okay. And we did tips to Miss Punk South. Yeah, that's all for today when it comes to the topics. I'm going to try to do longer streams, probably starting on the weekday, Monday. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do them overnight. I'm probably going to do them early morning, leading into afternoon. More than likely. But we'll figure it out. I uh, appreciate that. Got to you guys. I will see you later. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to take a little nap. Appreciate you guys. See you later. Bang, gang, out.